mics are on. We're, we're, we're hot, man. We'll start the start the intro. <laughs> We are back, uh, another episode of season two, episode 22, so there's a bunch of twos in here, there's two people in the studio, because, you know, we had a big, really big guest scheduled for this episode, but they they couldn't make it, because it was the occasion of episodes of twos, and they were like, yo, there can only be two people on, mm-hmm. but that's besides the point. This episode, I mean, we can we can talk sports, so we're going to. But we're also, you know, we're going to dabble into some controversial topics. Talk about... Hey, when you want me to... We're, the levels look good, by the way. And if you when, when you want to start, just let me know. And I'll get that video ready. And then tell me when, and I'll play the video. Do you... I, I, I mean... Can you introduce yourself, intern? Yeah, I'm Slade. Wade. <laughs> My name's Wade. I always do that. Yeah, he's still an intern because of this kind of... Bing bong! But, uh, oh, I, I should check the, the volume levels. But l- should I try to explain the – should we try to talk about what we're going to uh, approach the audience with this episode? Um, Journalism and how it's failed, but we're going to bring it back? Yes. So you want me to play the journalism? Play the – play it. All right, so you want me to play it now? Play it right now. Okay. Good afternoon. This is Investigator. Frank Lee with the Sports Philosophy Investigations. Today we're investigating one of the most dangerous things on campus, the hazard diamond of the Oceanography Building. Hazard diamonds are shown to explain how hazardous the materials in the building are. The hazards rank from one to four, as you can see. We got triple fours. It ain't pretty. And a radiation symbol. Today, with ODU investigators, we're gonna find out what this hazard diamond stands for. Hazard diamonds has been around for hundreds of years. Today, we're figuring out what this one means. Come with me as I journey around the school, talk to kids, students, professors, and learn exactly what kind of trouble we're in or getting into. As we are inside the Oceanography Building, we find even more disturbing signs. First, radioactive material. Second, danger, high voltage. Third, flammable. Fourth, compressed gas. Fifth, no food or drink allowed. We're dealing with some serious stuff, boys and girls. Hold on to your trousers. Now we dive deeper into the terrifying secrets of the Oceanography Building a globe with the world's natural disasters, and a cube which floats on its own. We'll take a closer look. This sorcery isn't to be trusted, and neither is the physics in the oceanography building. Today, we'll be interviewing students and teachers about the school's deepest and darkest secret. Hello, young man. What's your name? Jonathan. And Jonathan, are you aware of the hazard diamond at ODU? Hazard diamond? What, what hazard diamond? Don't lie to us, kid. The triple fours. You know what, now that you say triple fours, I've heard something about it, but I've never, I don't know anything, anything about hazard diamonds. Keep your nose clean, kid. Let's find some more interviewers. How you doing, son? Hey. Name's Stevie. Are you familiar with the triple fours or hazard diamond? I've been going here for eight years, man. I, I've heard everything. Why do you think during homecoming week the water's blue? It's not because of you. It's because the chemicals in the water. Is it a nuke? Who knows? The signs seem to seem so. Flammable, deadly, radiation. Check, please. Interesting how a place filled with such beauty at the same time 
could hold such danger. Fortunately, I was able to find someone who might help me get to the bottom of this. A prominent professor at ODU. Strong man with a strong beard. This evening, we'll be interviewing mm. Professor Ebenezer Ezekiel Elliott. Are you familiar with the Hazard Diamond? Yes, I am, um, of course, I'm familiar. I work in the physics department. The physics department? Interesting. Yes. What about the oceanography? Oceanography is a subcategory of physics. It is merely just an inclusion into the program. A bit juvenile, I see. What, what, is there anything we should be afraid of in this building? Certainly not, sir. There's no, there's nothing for you students to fear. There's no hazard? No. Has anyone been electrocuted? Don't touch no. Me. No, interesting. Then why have a hazard diamond with all fours, you maniac? Ah, uh, I gotta go, I gotta go. Wow, what a great take on ODU campus. I mean, I feel like anybody that goes here story. is is going to be interested in that because that's definitely one of the questions I've had when I've walked by Oceanography Damn. Building. There's us. And, you know, why why is there a giant globe in the Oceanography Building? Because it's that's where all the, the, the oceans are on the globe. Oh. So, ipso facto. Ipso um, facto. All right, I think this episode, I want to, because we only chose... What do you think it is? Let me ask. What do you think's in the building? I think uh, there's fish tanks, obviously. So they're obviously trying to harness some sort of energy, aquatic energy, that is also, I mean, it's going to wear the disguise of renewable energy because it's water, and it's definitely going to be something very political. So I think we just need to look out for any kind of aquatic energy. Or not, I think. What, what do you think? Guns. Guns, guns, they violence. They have a bunch of guns. In the ocean? What do you think they sh they they prepare? There's just a bunch of guns, man. I guess it could be all about the guns, but that that's a another. Just think about it. What is a fire hazard? A electrical hazard? A health hazard? And all of four kill you. Uh, electric eels that also are. F Flame no. retar or guns that shoot electrical bullets. I played Call of Duty. So what do we do? Is the big question. What do we do? As what students. would you do if you went to a school that had guns in its oceanography building? Tell me. Call in. Tell us. Maybe the phones work this week. I don't I don't actually I don't they know. didn't work last week. <laughs> so Alright, well let's you want to go into picks of the week? Yeah, because this is a special Sports show. This is a sporty, sporty, sports. sporty, sporty sports show. All the sports that we talk about, because we love sports, and we talk about sports. Last week, we only called one game, so we're going to try to call a lot of games this week. Let's start to yeah, make but, a quick but who got the Raiders-Redskins game, right? You did. So right now, you're 6-5, and five, and I am 7-4. and four. That's pretty close. That is pretty close. But well, it's going to go – I mean, we're going to have to replay remember, this episode because we're going to call so many games. The loser has, has to, to get, get a tattoo, tattoo on the their butt of a yeah, the other person. Yeah, the dog. The dog. The other person's dog. All right. So week one, this one's in London, I think. At 9.30 a.m., we got the Saints at Miami. Or, I mean, London? I mean, why else would the game be at 9.30 a.m.? Maybe it's, maybe in, it's in Toronto, Canada. I don't know. Maybe it's in Australia. Uh, I don't know if they're football players out Maybe there. Maybe it's in Miami. It's not, but Miami's going to be considered the home team. Because there is no other reason why you're going to play at 9.30 a.m. On the East Coast? Forget about it. Uh, this one, <laughs> whew, I think Miami comes out. I'm going to go Miami. And, I mean, you can – I mean, there's so many games we're going to call. Saints. Don't feel – don't, you don't have to pick the opposite every game. I did it. I picked the Saints. I'm going to win. Because reality, if you pick the opposite of my picks every time, you're just going to be the other side of me. So it's like we're calling the picks right every What's time. What's the next game? Uh, Tennessee at Houston. Tennessee. 
I'm gonna go Tennessee here too. Oh, just yeah. I want to make you start picking first, so you you can't not copy me. But you copied me, brother. I like Tennessee. Mariota needs a soda from Minnesota. If you could pick five games over the week that you think would win, what would they be? I haven't even looked at all the games yet. <laughs> I'm literally looking at them as like we if read you could right pick now. The top football teams in the NFL and who's going to win against other teams. This I'll give you be. automatics. You want me to give you automatics real quick? Sure, yeah. Uh, 100%. This is Alex's 100% wins of the week weekend. Atlanta is 100% chance to beat the Buffalo Bills at home. Started here first. Just because it's in Atlanta, and I think the Falcons aren't a joke. They are for real. That's that's a lock of the week. That's what I'm 100% in. And that's only because I'm, I, you know, I want to be real with it. Is this Mike 4? No, this is Mike 4. But you gotta turn her on. Yeah, I'll have Tell me a little check one four. How's that sound? Let me check on the YouTube channel and then I'll just back here. I'll uh see how I'm gonna hang out. Be one of the guys. I'm really nervous about this pick because the ba- Buffalo isn't a bad team, but I I, I have to make a a hundred percent pick of the week. Just go to the next game, man. All right. Well, I mean, I can't do that while I'm listening to see if your voice sounds good. Hey, 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 hey. No. Um, and as always, if you're walking by the web, we are looking for random people to come in here and talk to us. Um, if you're out there and watching, you got about 50 minutes. Yeah, we're taking guests all week. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to be my 100% pick of the week. I sound good? My levels sound good? Uh, you can go ahead and start the show? Yeah, you can start the show. Um, are any other picks here? <laughs> Ooh, actually, if Andrew Luck doesn't play, Seattle is a lock against Indianapolis at home. But we'll get to that later. We're just going to go by picks by picks. So we got Tennessee. We both had Tennessee. Jacksonville, who just beat somebody. Oh, they slobbered, knockered uh, the Ravens at a ni- another 930 game, I think. Maybe they were in Ludden, too. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Jacksonville at the Jets. Jacksonville. Jacksonville. That's our picks. Jags. Hey, uh, you copy me one more time? I don't care. I like Blake Bortles. Uh, better than Mickey Blaine Gabbert. Right, What's well, other good? What are we at? Two more games? Let's get it going. Brother, we got a lot more games. Carolina at now. New England. Carolina at New England? I'm going to get New England, but I'm not 100% on that. I'm more sure Atlanta's going to beat the Buffalo Bills than I am about this game. Because they got good defense in Carolina, so it, they can win any game potentially. That's I'm, why they were go, so pick, good a couple years pick, ago, because sorry. Cam Newton won games that were close. Who did you win again? I mean, who did you pick again? In what game? This game? Yeah. New England. All right, Panthers. I was going to pick the Panthers, but if you picked new, the Panthers, I wasn't going to pick them. I want the Panthers. Why are you picking the Panthers? Just a gut? Because it is a gut thing, mostly. I guess call it intuition, if you will. Sometimes I just kind of know stuff before it happens. It's kind of like, oh, that team's going to win. Wait, and then they, and then sometimes but what's your win. record this year? Six and five. Mine's yeah, seven but four. usually I'm just picking against you. I actually felt that one. All right. Uh, Detroit at Minnesota. This would have been a 100% pick, but like I'm going with Detroit, too. Minnesota. But it's in Minnesota. Go in Minnesota. Stop. Wait, you can copy some picks. I'm going with Min- We've already done two similar picks. I'm not going to have it. I'm just saying this is going to hurt. If I'm going to win and make you tattoo a picture of my dog on your face, on your butt cheeks face, then... Can I say that? You can say butt cheeks. Then... The gluteus I cheeks. i got to make some bold picks. All right, Cotton. Hey! <sighs> that guy had a weird... All right, uh, we got Buffalo at Falcons. Are you going to go fight the Falcons in my 100% lock of the week? Are you gonna make 100 percent lock of the week? Yeah, let me see the game. There's two pic. There's two pictures. So swipe right. 100 percent lock of the week is the Raiders are gonna beat the Broncos. 100 percent. You are you kidding me? 100 percent. Lock it in. 100 percent chance. 100 percent chance. That is really a bad call. 100 percent chance. Uh, but right now we're picking. Did you pick Buffalo or Atlanta? I picked 100% Atlanta. Oh, well, I mean, if it's 100%, I can't argue with Okay, you go in Atlanta. Uh, Steelers at Baltimore. How many picks are we making? We're making every pick because we only picked one last week just to satisfy Uh, these people. All right. 
<laughs> we're not even explaining All that you much. At home, you obviously are watching on a computer. Tell us, do you want us to keep picking who we think are gonna win? You're just wasting time. Let's see. Let's see. Well, we, there's a delay, so we gotta wait a second. I'm just saying, as a scientist, hey. Wade, you should have more sample to to have better numbers. Well, you know what. Next game, Steelers at the Ravens. I'm never going to pick against the Steelers, which is a uh, bias in my opinion, but uh, I'm going to pick the Steelers. Ravens. Bengals at the it's Cleveland Browns. Good thing we I think Cleveland's going to get their first win here. I'm going Cleveland. I'm going to come back here and hang out. You think I could hang out like right there? Yeah, I think we're going to win. Cleveland. We're going Cleveland? Do we, there's no ODU game this weekend? No, it's bye week, and we still haven't heard from Bradley Big Baby Foot Davis. I've been seeing, like, both the kickers all over the place. Do you want to tell him the story about how I thought I saw him? I just don't want to be that weird guy who's like, Hey, guys, I, got, I have my own radio show. You want to come on? That's the best kind of way to approach it. Yeah, that's probably true, actually. Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Kiddo! Yeah. Barack Obama! The what sound? They said... It's a soundproof room. It's perfect for you. No, we want them to hear us. We want a Bengals or Browns. Attention. Is it like? Am I like? I think he chose Browns. Further and closer to the mic. Is it getting louder and softer, or is it pretty steady? It's steady, Eddie. Okay, okay, okay. Raiders. What was it? What was I picking? Bengals at the Cleveland Browns. Ooh, Browns. Woo. Crazy. I know. I know. Hey. I picked the Browns already. Hey! I feel maybe we should like hit the Tito. I got a rumba. The LA Rams at the, the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, wait, before you answer that, I saw a stat that said the Rams have lost the most amount of fans from season to season in NFL Go history. I'm not getting that There's guy. There's a dude sitting right there. He's about to eat. He's a Tell him to bring it in here. He can let's just at least the finish these picks of the week. Man, he's a great... L.A. at Dallas. Dallas. Dallas, Dallas. I'm picking Dallas. That means you got to pick the Rams. I'm going Dallas. Uh, Philly at San Diego. One of the first four o'clock games they got going on. Philly. 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 Uh, you know why? I'm going to go San Diego. Because it's always sunny in Philadelphia. But they're playing in San Diego. Going to San Diego, which means they're going to have an advantage. Do you want to give any like NFL expert opinion on why they, you think they're going to win? They're going to score more points, you dingus. That's a sufficient answer. Uh, next game, New York Giants at Tampa. Uh, poor New York fans. They just can't get a win. I'm going Tampa. Is Jameis Winston their Jameis QB Winston? One? QB he threw one? a crab at somebody, I think. QB one. Yeah. Just think, Is it, if you were to say Jameis versus uh, Jameis versus Eli, who would win in literally anything? Who would you pick? Am I talking prime time, Eli, where he's the I'm only quarterback to beat the Patriots? Talking, I'm talking football and literally everything else. Who would win? And I think we know the answer to every s- single thing. I think it's a draw. That's actually. I think it would be a terrible draw. Terrible points. Let's move on. Uh, next game. Uh, wait, you didn't pick Tampa or New York? Mm. Copycat. Uh, San Fran at Arizona. 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 You picked the the Raiders to no matter what year, hundred percent on it. They're gonna beat the Broncos in Denver. Mundo, mundo, percento. Por favor. Shoot, shoot, Boop. shoot. I think I'm gonna go. I want to go Oakland, but this is your hundred percent pick, so I'm gonna pick Denver just to go against you. Uh, Good. Two more games. Indianapolis at Seattle. I'm going Seattle. All right, I'm going to go Indianapolis on this one because we've had a couple of similar picks recently. I'm telling you, they're not going to win. Is that 100%? It's not 100%. Okay, then. Last game. 
Uh, Washington Redskins at Kansas City. Kansas City, the home of the of the Bronco. I'm only going to make this pick because I heard a lot of fans' uh, hearts last week by picking against them for no reason. So I'm going to go Redskins. Yeah. I'm going to go Redskins here. That's true. That's All right, well, that, that's it for picks of the week. We're going to try here our very best to get people to come in and then hopefully start gossip hour and prank phone calls where we'll call one of their friends and say they're on. Who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah, as soon as anyone comes on, we're going to say, please help us with this last question. Alex here is trying to win a million bucks. They're not going to know who I am. And then I'll be like, here's the question. And what year was the Pacific Ocean discovered? And then... What are the options? What, or what we do is, is we like get to know them a little bit. Hey, tell us all about yourself. What's your name? What's your major? And it'll be like, oh, perfect. Our question has everything to do with uh, e- the economy. Is that a major? Economics? Economics is a major. Then we'll be like, what is? how much has the Nike's... She's. You had a problem? She looked like she was like just. You want to show a movie trailer? Just one. Is there a movie coming out? There might be a new movie, something about w- wild wilderness, or about the great. Yeah, let me hack into the mainframe and see if we got anything. <laughs> Ding dong. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, we. It was interesting. Should we talk about our controversial topic right now? The kicker? Oh. What are we talking about? Alright, so I mean, I don't want to get too political here, but of course we've all seen the NFL players either uniting or taking a stand by Neen or literally taking a stand by not Neen. Uh, there's a oh, kicker yeah, yeah, yeah. who feels that there's another pressing issue that's not being, you know, heard. Well, what's his name? It's, uh, Cameron Del Monte? Del Monte. Cameron, Cameron Del, Del Monte. Monte. Yeah. He, I forget what team he plays for, but literally he, instead of kneeling or standing during the national anthem, he took his shoes off and... In like in sight of animal cruelty because they are turned into leather. Refuses to kick with shoes on. He, refer- he refuses to kick with shoes on the week, and he ended up missing a game-winning field goal, and now he just got cut. So, there. That's a very political thing, because they're they're, they're saying, oh, he got cut because he was but, terrible. But it's not over yet. But I don't think he got cut because he was terrible. I think he got he cut got, because of politics. He just got foot surgery though. Did you hear about this? No. Yeah, he got foot surgery to make his foot stronger, and now he can actually kick farther than when he wore shoes. Yeah. Is this legal? He got he got an implant on the inside of his heel. 
like uh, on his on the on the arch of the foot. And he's kicking farther than ever now. All yeah. All these teams are looking at him like. I think I don't know there was an Texas guy because he's such a hot topic right now. Yeah, Canadian Football League. I think they were looking at him too. It's just he doesn't want to leave the NFL. And I don't blame him. He's it's just, it's almost identical to the Colin Kaepernick situation. Who? Uh, Cameron Delamonte. No, I, who's Colin Kaepernick? Colin Kaepernick. Oh, I think I've heard of Colin Kaepernickus. Copernicus, he used to play for the uh, ancient Greek monarchs. Well, I actually heard we're going to have a video. Uh, we're we're going to be able to sit down and interview uh, Cameron Billaman Bill next, next week. By next week. We're gonna, oh, we're, we're having an interview with Cameron Bella. It's going to be interesting, too, because uh, he actually shows us a little bit of the what's what, what he's done to his foot and how it's improved his stroke i want to actually get down and sit with him and figure out like how he grew up you know because yeah. there were definitely stories where like as a baby he was found in a forest with almost a similar story to tarzan you know where he was living with gorillas he had a story about a snake almost eating him he remembers interesting guy to say the least very interesting he also get this five nine five nine he's five nine I mean, is that short? It's average. Not for an NFL. For not for an NFL kicker. I mean, I guess there's not really an average for NFL kickers. I've seen the biggest ones. And this is the point of the show when we ask all you listeners at home, got anything we want, you want us to talk about? I made eye contact with that guy. <sighs> and you didn't wait. You didn't do anything. You didn't. You got to get him in here. You got to get... Look. You gotta this microphone it, smells pretty you good. You got to want it. Is that bad? Hey! Hey! You gotta want it. Anyways, let us know. Call us at. Do you wanna make a prank, prank phone call? Where we call one of our friends, but they don't know it? Yes. Who should we call? Um. Yo, Ralph. Ralph's mom. Ralph's mom. What? Call Wade. I don't know if she has my number. I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, not that's, gonna that's a little. That's a little hey. scary. But I'm sure she has the number to the show. She's called before. But I don't know again, if the phone is working. It, Check look, it. I see a little light on there. Is it dead? Maybe. Ro- where's Ron? Yeah, he, he's not here. Uh, all right. Let's go to layman's terms. Sports terms of the day, not a lot of people know the correct usage of it. Like, they always mix it up with sports. So we're going to give original definition of sports terms right now, right here on the show. Uh, first term. Malik! Was that Malik? Go get him. Run. You got to run. Why doesn't he have his ID? Let's look and see what it's in Alex's wallet. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. Let's see here. Let's see what's going on out here, Alex. We got a guy eating some panda with headphones on. Wearing a gray shirt. That's pretty cool, right? Don't see it. Don't see that every day. Oh, he came back empty handed. He didn't know good. What he didn't want to? He 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 I screamed at him and he didn't turn around. Oh, he he wears headphones everywhere he goes. I didn't want to inter- interrupt him. <sighs> Alex, you gotta want it, man. What is it with this timidness? You gotta. We've already it's had it's Malik. That was the problem. That you truly want, you just gotta go get it. And S- I can you explain the sports he term? Do. He didn't. Uh, yes. What's the sports term? I already said fumble ruski. Oh, fumble. Hey. Hey. Oh, you gave up. I said hey you. A boom, 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 boom. Everybody say we. Pomoruski is a. Uh, well, wait, what sport, first off? There's, there's a couple of different ones. What do you know most for? What do I know most for? Baseball. Baseball, alright. Explain this Pomoruski and the baseball. It all started from a Bumblebrewski, which came from a Bumblebee, which came from a bunt. Like someone who bunted a lot was called a. A bunted bee, which turned into bumblebee, which turned into eventually 
fumble or seek. And you, it's weird how words change. Yeah, words just change over time. It's weird how words change. So basically, if you're a guy who does a lot of bunting, if you know what I mean, you're a fumble risky. You're a fumble risky. Don't ever forget it. All right, give me my word. Didn't you get, have like three of them? Uh, oh, traveler, traveling. Oh, traveling. All right, so there's certain players. Soccer. A soccer term. Yeah, the tra- the soccer for uh, definition. All right, so back in the day, when they were writing the rule books of soccer, uh, it, all it says is you may not use your hands on the ball unless you're a goalie. Mm. So you had a few slick ricks out there, and they started using forearms. And they would pin it, and they're like, oh, there goes the Travelers again. And it, it, this happened in, like, the early 30s and 40s of the 1900s. Uh, yeah, you, I mean, hey, they called them the Travelers, and they made a traveling rule. And so now they can only use their feet. No forearms now. Which I'm not sure, because what if you get it, like, you just catch a ball, like, right here, and you're just, like, running with it. Like, is that still a traveling violation? No. No. No, I don't see how. Is it still my turn? I mean, I just described you. I the guess word. I can do the last word. What's the what's what's the term? Uh, a player's coach? Did we decide on that? Player coach. Player coach. In what sport? Uh, cricket. Oh, that's a weird one actually, because most people hear player coach and they're like, oh, that's obviously a, a player who also does a lot of coaching or a coach that also sometimes plays in the game, which is not illegal. But in cricket, player means something differently. Hmm. Player means they don't use the bat. A player coach is a coach that's not allowed to hit, but he's allowed to play in the field. Oh, uh, that's what they – like, that's what I always wondered. Like, how do they pick the hitters in that? Like, exactly. do you just, like, look around and exactly. pick any pick one? Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. I just really want to get a random person in here. It's been my dream. We had one on. We had Axel on, and you weren't that excited. What? I was so excited. I had so much fun with Axel. What? What, what are we gonna do? Are we, like, uh, gossip hour? I just want to get someone in here and just pick that brain of theirs, man. All right, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'll, if I get someone in, you're gonna take the lead, and then oh, I'll I can introduce. Take the lead like, like a middle school line lead. And then lead. I'll prevent the awkwardness by saying, and we're back with Gossip Hour, where we find a random guest to tell us a little juicy gossip about one what of their friends. And we act like we're off the air and we're about to come back on air. Is that mean? Is that devious? Um, there might be actual malice like, in that. We'll be like, hey, hey, uh, the mics are off right now. We're running a commercial. We're going to come on in about 30 seconds. Is there anything you want to tell us? Do you have any secrets about your friends? Anything we should not. They're gonna about. be like, they're gonna be like a secret. On my f- uh, 30, 30 seconds. They're gonna be like, oh, uh, uh, um, Maria farted on my pillow once. <laughs> Something like that. Maria, we're coming for you. <laughs> I like Maria. She's nice. You'd think there would be more people out and about here at a four to five on a Friday. There's a good amount. A lot more than there was at uh, seven o'clock on a Friday last semester. <laughs> I tell you what. There used to be like some like. They know what I mean. Dancers that we would be like just dancing out there for exercise. Yeah, we never got any of them in here. Yeah, we weren't really that big. Pretty of timid. Fan. Pretty. No, we, uh, we don't really go right. out of our way a lot. We either show them another movie trailer of the grapes, or we go right into freestyle. All the viewers at home, just tell us what you want us to do. We'll do anything. Seriously. Literally. Even if it's eat food that you send us, or talk to people that you send I'll us. I'll eat paper right now. I am getting all hungry. Do you, you want to get something to eat after? You can look after this. I don't know. Get a little something to eat? We could do that. We should look that one up. Thank you. Mm. That would be an interesting episode. Hey, hey. Hey, you. Get oh. See, people are really just zombies around here. I tell you what. I think it's I like the prestige we put on. Like, they know, oh, fifth, this is sports fifth philosophy. Year now, people walk past and it's like, oh, there's not a window that leads into the radio studio where we can see all the bright minds that talk like that's for our sp- we're literally the voice of our school no i didn't get one i was just pointing at a girl i don't want to get an employee i'm not trying to like 
you know, make anyone uncomfortable at work. I tried doing that. That did not work. Uh, yeah. Let's just uh, pick pick one, Wade. You're the you got the pick what trailer. Oh, what to do next? Yeah. Well, first of all, all these trailers that you're gonna see were really stolen from my iPad by my associate here. Oh, well, they you didn't put them on YouTube. Really meant to be showed, but when I made these, the sports philosophy wasn't even a thought. It wasn't a thought. But I digress. I present to you. You gotta change it. Change I'm it. I'm Change it. I present to you the grape that went sour. <laughs> I think there's a lot of promise, and if there's any movie producers out there that actually want to get that movie going, talk to us. You may have a point. They're like, oh, your female lead fell asleep midway through. No, that was the role. Can you read into film? She's an actor. That's what she does, folks. Just some people don't understand film nowadays. It's it's really really grinds my beers. I don't know if you're allowed to see beers. Maybe beer on the radio, but not beers. check, check, Check the binder. What can you say? You want to know what we can and can't say? I'll tell you. We, we can't, can't say beep, beep, and beep, And we're only beep. saying these words because we can't say them. We're not allowed to say. We're not allowed to say. We're not allowed to say as in a sexual act. Not allowed to say. Not allowed to say. Not allowed to say. Why can't we not say Not allowed this? to say. What if that number was. Yeah, why can't we say. But, I mean, I guess anything that's considered a sexual act, like. We say all the time. Yo. <laughs> we did a whole episode. They have on two that. different. You can say, or you can say, it doesn't matter. You can't say either of them. Because they're both sexual. What was the word we were seeing if we could say? Beer? We could say beer. Otherwise, they probably would have bleeped it out. I guess that makes sense. Uh. Uh, uh, oh, I, e, oh. All right, can we can you get me some freestyle music? Sure. What, what do you want? I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't even know if I can rap today. Just start with palms are sweaty. Turn on mic three. Mic three. Can you hear me? Turn up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, mom spaghetti. I used to run uh, over m- a Ford Chevy. Let me take a moment to say rest in peace to the uh, recently deceased Charles Bradley. If you don't know who he is, look it's up just, his music. I don't know why it's so if hard. If you look up his music, I think you'll pretty much learn everything. Man, Beautiful soul. Very talented. Now nah, let's rap. Mom spaghetti. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. DJ Shorty. DJ Shorty. DJ Shorty. Knees weak. Arms 
sweaty, sweaty. I'm sweaty, sweaty. About to get heavy. I don't got my poor Chevy because I drove a Levy. Yeah. Oh, uh, listen to my rhymes. Unless it is accusing you of crime. Cause stitches get stitches. Tell you and whisper in your ear. <laughs> yeah, me and the Fox on my socks. I don't like the Yankees or the Red Sox. I, I just couldn't. I couldn't find it. I was searching. It was easier to find words this time, but I was still searching for the steady pace. It the, was kind of fast. You gave me an old school freestyle mega mix tape. Look, it was the first one that came out, and it it was just. Do you want me to just give you a beat, like? I, I can't, I don't get paid enough to give bow, people two bow, raps a week. Bow, 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 bow. Do you want to give it a show? Give it a go? Palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Palms are heavy. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to just copyright this Eminem song. I mean, is it copyright if you only say one line over Palms and over again? Sweaty. Um, arms are sweaty. I think it's the best line in the whole Oh, can we do my horse racing idea? Uh... So, do you actually want to show them a video? Of, of horses racing? running, and we'll just... I mean, I guess we can play anything on YouTube, is what we're told. That's what they tell us. So, or... Do you want to type in horse race? Horse racing. We got... Give me three horse names. They're probably going to be Sam. Let's wait to mute it. All right, all right, all right. How long are horses? You got to make it quick. That, these are two-minute races? For real, for real? All right, we got about ten horses, and I'm only going to know the name of three. We make got up, make up names. Stranger Danger. Well, I don't think two people can do this. Well, then we'll, we'll both give it a, a go. We can do it at the same time anyways. Okay, well, yeah, we can duel it. All right. <coughs> Stranger Danger, Monix. We got Billy Bob in one. We got a bunch of pillows in two. We got r riding a horse in they three. They cut we their last jockey because he was too red tall. Red is my favorite color in four. We got... Uh, wearing sunglasses on a sunny day on by. <laughs> That's actually good. Keep going. Oh, you like, you like my, my horse? Sunny like glasses on a Saturday night. We got yellow, yellow signs in six. We got seven is my number seven. <laughs> we, we got, got seven is six oh, and oh, they're off. off. Looks like sunny day is getting a good. St I feel like sunny day is beat cool. by horses beating up the other Saturday night horse. Looks like Johnny Santana is pulling away. In Ricky the Santorum running up behind. We have a bunch of flowers close in second. We have a bunch of pillows in third. The crown is reaper oh. is following wait. through the stretch. Wait, how long are these? It's like two minutes. I thought they were about to finish. Did they do Stranger Danger in the lead. Did fourth mile of the way going. And then, then there's Purple Jacket running did behind. Run a, did they run a mile? Or? I think they run th two laps. If there's any horse racing enthusiasts out there, please call in. I don't think our phones work. Pablo de Monte is in the ninth. But followed by Rhea and Tana Noya. I just realized wearing headphones can't hear myself very much. What do you think? Have I been this little? Wait. Generic A Rod falling up through the, s the finish. I'm just using mic three. I don't know what mic I'm using. Crazy. I put mic three down. I don't know. I'm just trying to make sure the levels are good. Uh, Mom's spaghetti, you know. You get you to call the finish. It's coming up. Yeah, I'm getting. Well, there are three fourths in the mile. We got. <coughs> we got red hot jelly peppers in first. We got a bunch of pillows in second. We got a bunch of. Flowers in third. We got a yellow sun in fourth. We got Johnny Santana in fifth. We got. <laughs> They're going down the stretch. They're on the final leeway. Leeway high is on the lead. And a then bunch of pillows pulling away in first. Can a bunch of pillows in the A bunch of, bunch of pillows pulling away. Bunch of pillows. Bunch of pillows. He's batting the pillow. It's with Stranger Danger. It's coming to the end. Oh, sounds a little like a Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld. But he's going to the He's end. going to be a close finish. A bunch of left. Oh, a bunch of pillows. A bunch of pillows. A bunch of pillows. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. I wonder if the people at home really enjoyed. Uh, switch the cameras. Yeah, really enjoyed listening to us scream in the microphone. I mean, I don't. If you're watching the sports philosophy, I think that's got to be one of the things you like. Da, 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 I think we can get eye contact. Da, 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 da. Uh, eye contact? Yeah. That's a, that chick. Uh, I 
I don't know. She looked a little, she looked a little uh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're uh, a woman walking by the radio studio at 445, we're not talking about you. What if the we're girl... We're joking. None of the stuff we say on this show What if the girl of my dreams that walked by last week around this time walks by again, and then there's like... She's always walking through it at this time, so then it's like a better way to find her? Oh, and every week we get a little bit closer to getting her in here and following. What if she's up. like our secret follower of the show and like she's like trying she to get? She knows me. that we see her. I mean, that's the like that's the reasonable guess here, right? Make it right. You were live on TV audio channel seventy one. As soon as you turn on the mic, heard it here first. I uh. I I honestly have never been able to figure out how to listen to us anywhere but YouTube. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. For all you people at home, we have no idea how to get you to listen. It says channel seventy dash one if you're on live TV. I think it's live on TV doors. audio. Whatever. I mean, I know. You would think they'd have a. This, uh, I'm not gonna trash. I'm not gonna trash. Uh, our, our family that's really brought us in and made us feel as comfortable as possible over here at Woe to You. All I'm saying is the award ceremony we better be big this semester. And I'm talking to get big we go names. go another year, we're just have a Kanye empty moment. hands. I'm gonna, oh my goodness, I'm gonna stay. After the last award, we'll just walk out. I'm gonna stay another year if we don't. I mean, we have, we'll have one more chance to do it. That's for you. What? So, we we have a request from 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 a viewer for Alex to do push-ups on the show. How crazy is that? <laughs> we are gonna see it here first, folks. Uh, thank you for 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 writing in, uh, dad, dad. For some reason. And let's see if Alex can crack out. 50 push-ups. Let's see it, Alex. Wade and his father have a... F I don't know if I can say fetish on the air. For guys wearing pirate hats to do push-ups. I'll give you 10 push-ups to meet your your weird desires. You heard it here first. Let's see if Alex can do 10 push-ups. And I want to see if fetish can be said on the air. You can. Huh. You want me to do it like that? I'm going to count... Maybe zoom in a little. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. That last one didn't count. Oh, now he thinks he can show off his arm. Okay, well, you know, he, he did 10 push ups. There's nothing to brag about, but. I wasn't trying to do it for bragging rights, I was trying to, like, help you and your father. Well, I mean, I don't know why you keep calling him my father. His name's Dad. Who? Dad is his name. My father's name is Daniel Nathaniel Ratcliffe here. Daniel Cormier? But his, he, he was older than Nathaniel Ratcliffe, so it was no relation. I feel bad for Dan Corm Daniel Cormier because he got embarrassed by John Jones even though he cheated. But it's like, how do you call yourself a champion after that? He lost to him like... But two he times lost to a guy who we're all pretty sure. Hey! Oh my gosh! Could I have tried any harder? It might. It, I'm oh, just. He was staring. Okay, this guy was staring right at us. I think that's just proof of how it's not only is it hard to make eye contact with people, but it's hard to convince them to come people on. People just skate through life, just thinking they know exactly what they're gonna do, what's going on. I'm gonna walk to class with my headphones in. One person waves at him. Come here, come here, and it's just like. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Is that social interaction? Oh my gosh, what can pro they're probably gonna be weird and try and sell me something or, or do something weird. We just wanna talk and have some fun. You can tell your friends, oh, I was on a radio show that's really like a TV show on YouTube, so. Yeah, it's pretty much a TV show. Let's be honest. And people call it podcasts too, which I think is interesting. What about these guys? You wanna get on the radio? Come on. Oh! No, sorry, oh! That's weird. Make sure their mics are we on. Got, we got 10 minutes. All right, I'm just going to turn all mics You're on. You're leading it, all right? Okay, okay, okay. We got we got some people, I think. We, I think we got some people. Right there, right in the 
Come on, sit down. Hey, how's it going? Come on, sit down. We have some guests. We have some guests. Uh, did you? T this is the sports philosophy. If you guys are wondering, they have no idea what that means. That is uh, Odie's hottest radio show. Uh, I feel like we gotta get everyone in. Do you want to sit down? There's a. Do you, we gotta get. We gotta get everyone in here. All right. I, 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 maybe I'll have to move. We got like seven minutes. So we're at ODU's hottest sports philosophy show called Sports Philosophy. We like to talk. You guys like sports? Yeah. First of all, what are you guys' names? I'm Wade. This is Alex. I'm Lloyd. This is um, Max. Max. Lloyd can, and Maxwell. Can we hear them? Are they? Uh, do they need to get closer to the mic? Get closer to the mic. Maybe you, you can take these out and hold them if you want. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> oh wait, wait, how about this? Are any of you guys freestyle rappers? No. No. <laughs> You know, you guys don't thing. usually hold I, mics. I I try to freestyle. It doesn't work. I yeah. try at least. You just missed that. You just missed. That. Anyways, what are you guys the sports? Soccer. soccer. Really soccer. I mean, we into basketball and football. Well, and are you guys? Uh, I how do I put this nice? Are you international students? I guess. Yeah. Where are you guys from? I'm from Haiti. You oh, from Ghana. Ghana? Interesting. Interesting. That makes sense for the soccer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who who you guys is teams in soccer? Well, I'm in Brazil and Boston and nothing. Okay. Oh man, right you okay? Probably the sport I know least. Yeah, about, we. But that's okay. It's fine. No, no, no. <laughs> <sighs> you ask a question. Your turn. So we were in the middle of doing a. Uh, have you ever heard of uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It's no. Like, yeah. It's like a trivia game, and if they get all the questions right, they win a million dollars. Right, right. So we're gonna do. We're doing our own ver version of that. And I just asked Alex the question: When was the Pacific Ocean found, founded? Pacific Ocean? Do you guys have any idea? Wow. Give us a year. And we're, we're, we should probably Google this to figure out the answer. I'm guessing. Oh, I know the answer. Pacific Ocean? I mean, it was there the whole time. Of course. Of course it was there the whole time. But when did we first say, yo, that's the Pacific Ocean? Wow. It's going to be like way back then. Cause mm, okay. I, mean, I, saw, I see the answer. I saw it too. Throw out a throw out a guess. Yeah, five seconds. I'm guessing. Well, it's his. It's his 1534. guess. What did you just say? 1534. Yeah. It's 1534. No, that's not true. It's 1513. Okay, okay. But that's 1513. really close. That is really close. That is almost spot on. I was on. thinking about um, Christopher Columbus. Oh. You know, doing those, those days. And, yeah. I I say I say that counts. I'll give it to him. There's you, a 20 year buffer there. Now I've I've won money because of your answer. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, was the next question that we were gonna ask? I think that was the million dollar question. You won. I think I've won. You owe me money now. <laughs> it comes out of his pocket, so it's fine. Uh, what are you guys studying here? Uh, Computer engineer. I'm a mechanical engineer as well. We got a bunch of smart what people year? in here now. Yeah. Both freshmen. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow, I'm glad we now some freshmen. Have you guys ever been interested in uh, radio or video type work? <laughs> I mean, I like, I, I like listening to broadcasters like okay, Colin Cowherd and oh, um, okay, Stephen A. Smith. But I mean, I I don't really interested. yeah. Well, hey, talking a lot really. Tell all your friends the sports philosophy is already use hottest show. Go Last on YouTube, sports philosophy. We had the most wa we were the most watched show for WODU last year on wow. YouTube though. Okay. I mean that's not a lot, yeah. but it I mean, but it's still, still yeah. we were kind of number one. So yeah, appreciate you guys coming on though. I mean we try and get random guests all the time. Oh, okay. Every it's a episode lot harder. People never want. We're trying to wave them in. People I like never yeah, want to like talk. I like sharing my views about. And, and that's stuff. exactly what we want. We want to yeah. get a little perspective. Can we show them the video of uh, our investigative journalism? And yes. see their take. Give them yeah. the headphones. Okay. This is a video we made. We're kind of journalists around campus. But you guys know where the oceanography building is, right? Yeah. Oceanography, yeah. Okay. We have a little video we've made. And this will be the last thing. Then we'll let you go after you watch this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Get fast. Okay. Here we it go. It was on the link. All right. Should we watch? The yeah. Well. Can you hear it? No. Is it playing? Is the volume on on that? Oh, no. All right, redo it, redo it. The head guy. Good. Uh, uh. good afternoon. This is Investigator Frank Lee with 
the sports philosophy investigation. He gets louder. Today we're investigating one of the most dangerous things on campus, the hazard diamond of the oceanography building. Well, that's diamonds are shown to explain how hazardous the materials in the building are. The hazards rank from one to four. As you can see, we got triple fours. It ain't pretty. And a radiation symbol. Today, with ODU investigators, we're gonna find out what this hazard diamond stands for. Hazard diamonds has been around for hundreds of years. Today, we're figuring out what this one means. Come with me as I journey around the school, talk to kids, students, professors, and learn exactly what kind of trouble we're in or getting into. As we are inside the Oceanography Building, we find even more disturbing signs. First, radioactive material. Second, danger, high voltage. Third, flammable. Fourth, compressed gas. Fifth, no food or drink allowed. We're dealing with some serious stuff, boys and girls. Hold on to your trousers. Now we dive deeper into the terrifying secrets of the Oceanography Building, like a globe with the world's natural disasters, and a cube which floats on its own. We'll take a closer look. This sorcery isn't to be trusted, and neither is the physics in the Oceanography Building. Today, we'll be interviewing students and teachers about the school's deepest and darkest secret. Hello, young man. What's your name? Jonathan. And Jonathan, are you aware of the hazard diamond at ODU? Hazard diamond? What, what hazard diamond? Don't lie to us, kid. The triple fours. You know what, now that you say triple fours, I've heard something about it, but I've never, I don't know anything, anything about hazard diamonds. Keep your nose clean, kid. Let's find some more interviewers. How you doing, son? Hey. Name's Stevie. Are you familiar with the triple fours or hazard diamond? I've been going here for eight years, man. I, I've heard everything. Why do you think during homecoming week the water's blue? It's not because of you. It's because the chemicals in the water. Is it a nuke? Who knows? The signs seem to seem so. Flammable. Deadly. Radiation. Check, please. Interesting how a place filled with such beauty at the same time could hold such danger. Fortunately, I was able to find someone who might help me get to the bottom of this. A prominent professor at ODU. Strong man with a strong beard. This evening, we'll be interviewing mm. Professor Ebenezer Ezekiel Elliott. Are you familiar with the Hazard Diamond? Yes, I, um, of course I'm familiar. I work in the physics department. The physics department? Interesting. Yes. What about the oceanography? Oceanography is a subcategory of physics. It is merely just an inclusion into the program. A bit juvenile, I see. What, what, is there anything we should be afraid of in this building? Certainly not, sir. There's no, there's nothing for you students to fear. There's no hazard? No. Has anyone been electrocuted? Don't touch No. Me. No, interesting. Then why have a hazard diamond with all fours, you maniac? Ah, uh, I gotta go, I gotta go. Yeah. That yeah. Was, uh, it's yeah, com compelling. Mm. Compelling. It's what we, we try to uncover the truth here. So now anytime you guys go by, like, past the oceanography building, just look at the sign. You know, look at it. Like, read into it. Wow. All right, play, play it off, and we can... Uh, you guys are good. You guys can head out if you want. We're just going to say a couple more things, wrap up. Appreciate you guys coming on. Even if we have, you have no idea who we are, so it's fine. Remember the sports philosophy. It's a heavy door. Oh.
Good sports, good guys. Playing that yet? We're talking. Um, that went, that went all right. We forced them to sit through a five-minute video, but uh, you know, all that matters is they're talking about either how good of a time they had or how bad of a time they had. Fix the cameras. What's up? Oh. So we can give a proper shout out and end this. It's five o'clock now. Wow, we run over. All right, it's quick, quick, quick. Bro, <laughs> shout outs before we play the burp. the ending. Finally, burp. shout out to burping because I didn't burp all episode. Uh, shout out to Blue Pete's for not making me work today, and shout out to our future guests next week, which should be two people. We should have our financial advisor coming in, and we should have uh, Cameron uh, Del Monte. Yep. Uh, shout out to uh, Ralph as always. I'm gonna say Ralph and Mother, uh, who is surprisingly very proactive and uh, helping the show with ideas. Um, shout out to Pops, Daddy O for 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 making Alex do push-ups. Shouts 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 to uh, those two gentlemen. I'm terrible with names, but Maxwell they and there's some good good guys. You see him around, give him a good pat on the butt. They really like that. Anything else? Play it out, Play Scotty. It out. Play, play. <laughs>